What's going on, Rapid Nation? Thanks for clicking on this video. And you know what? I want to take the time to welcome all of you new subscribers to Rapid Updates, where you're going to get more news, less BS, so you can get back to doing what you do best, and that's taking care of what you troll. Remember, you are the CEO of your life. Make sure you protect your time. Your time is valuable, and that's why I created Rapid Updates. So let's get rapid. Way to go, Iraq. Iraq has a $115 billion reserves way to go I mean I just remember when it was 80 or less good for them now that doesn't mean that an RV is gonna take place tomorrow but it sure in the heck helps them out doesn't it Mohammed Saleh who's the financial advisor to Al Sudani brings this to our attention he explained on Tuesday the foreign reserves is subject to international standard investment guides he stated almost half of the amount of reserves is in the currency of the United States of America the US dollar and a high percentage of the country's dollar reserves are invested in secure financial instruments most of which are short-term US Treasury bonds and carry interest of more than 4% per year currently on average and have a very advanced credit rating and can be converted into liquid dollars immediately when needed keep in mind that also china has a lot of their currency in u.s bonds as well and so does japan and germany and other european countries moving on the rest of the remaining foreign reserves which is 50 percent other than the dollar are deposited with reliable European global central banks and global monetary institutions and in currencies such as the pound sterling, the European euro, the Chinese yuan, and the Japanese yen, and the currency of the International Monetary Fund called Special Drawing Rights units in addition to cash gold that sounds kind of cool which is more than 132 tons or more of officially announced and deposited in a safe global gold sellers holy moly this is amazing i want one of these safe global seller i think iraq is doing okay now i think they've come a long ways this is exciting news with baghdad and herbal they finally agreed on the share of the kurdistan region in the 2023 budget among some other things that they've also decided what are they here are the revealed details what is the kurdistan region percentage b it's going to be 12.67 a lot lower than i expected but it comes with a lot of other agreeable factors which i'm sure helped out the wages of the oil companies operated in kurdistan region the federal government will also pay according to the sources the wages of the oil companies operated in the Kurdistan region, and they approved the legal sale of oil by the Kurdistan region. And I'm just going to put this plug in. They've been selling oil to, to Turkey, and Baghdad didn't really like that because they don't have their share of that. This will also stop the work of all decisions of the federal Supreme Court towards the Kurdistan region until the adoption of the oil and gas law in the House of Representatives. It's nice to see that they're going to open up this special bank account will be open in which the Iraqi government will deposit the Kurdistan region's share, that 12.67, into the budget, which is the Kurdistan regional government alone and entitled to dispose of. Here's some more information. They've also agreed to solve the problems that delayed the 2023 budget, which are renewed in every period represented by the oil and gas, Persh Merga salaries, and the dues of the cursed component in addition to the need to legislate the oil and gas law within the dome of parliament and this is what we agreed on hey good for them moving on to russia and ukraine chaos sounds like moscow was under attack by drones today putin is on youtube on different news channels where he orders special control of ukraine borders after drone attacks he's going to tighten down the russian ukraine border russia has come under attack by multiple drones on tuesday with one of those drones reportedly causing a fire at an oil depot in the southern part of the country and another hitting outside of moscow the attack on the oil facility happened in tuopsi which lies about 150 miles southeast of crimea peninsula emergency service put out the fire and the oil depot in southern russia overnight after the drone was spotted flying overhead make no mistake 
everyone. The drone weaponry could could reach United States soil. All it takes is a spy balloon to release it from a payload compartment over your city. This is a big deal, and uh, I want to bring this to your attention that now Putin is now ordering the tightening of borders. He's going to look for retaliation on Ukraine. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Stay rapid, everybody.